Steering mechanisms play a crucial role in ensuring the smooth and controlled movement of light vehicles. In this video, we explore the various types of steering mechanisms used in light vehicles, such as rack and pinion, recirculating ball, and electronic power steering. We'll also take a look at how each system works and discuss their advantages and disadvantages. Rack and pinion steering is one of the most common steering mechanisms in light vehicles. It consists of a rack, which is a toothed bar, and a pinion gear. When the driver turns the steering wheel, the pinion gear meshes with the rack, causing it to move. As the rack moves, it pushes or pulls the steering arms, which are connected to the front wheels, causing them to turn. One of the main advantages of rack and pinion steering is its simplicity. The system has fewer components compared to other steering mechanisms, making it lighter and more efficient. Additionally, rack and pinion steering provides a direct and responsive steering feel, allowing for precise control of the vehicle. However, it also has some disadvantages. For instance, rack and pinion steering can be prone to wear and tear, especially if not properly maintained. It can also be more expensive to repair compared to other steering systems. Recirculating ball steering is another type of steering mechanism commonly found in light vehicles. It utilizes a worm gear and a set of recirculating balls to convert the rotational motion of the steering wheel into linear motion. The worm gear has a threaded shaft and as the steering wheel is turned, it rotates the worm gear. The recirculating balls, which are located between the worm gear and the steering linkage, help to reduce friction and facilitate smooth movements. One of the advantages of recirculating ball steering is in its durability. The design of the steering allows it to handle heavy loads and withstand rough driving conditions. However, recirculating ball steering can be less precise compared to rack and pinion. The presence of multiple moving parts also means that it may require more regular maintenance. Electronic power steering, or EPS, is a modern steering system that has gained popularity in recent years. Unlike traditional hydraulic power steering, EPS operates using an electric motor. The motor assists the driver in turning the wheels, making steering effort lighter and more responsive. EPS systems can be further classified into two types, column assist EPS and rack assist EPS. Column assist EPS is commonly found in smaller light vehicles. It is integrated into the steering column and provides assistance directly to the steering wheel. On the other hand, rack assist DPS is typically used in larger light vehicles and works by assisting the rack and pinion mechanism. Both types of EPS offer advantages, such as improved fuel efficiency, as the system only consumes power when assistance is required. EPS also provides greater flexibility in tuning the steering feel. However, it can be more complex and expensive to repair compared to traditional steering systems. Despite regular maintenance, steering systems can develop issues over time. It's important to be aware of common steering problems and know how to troubleshoot them. One common issue is a stiff or hard to turn steering wheel, which could be caused by lower power steering fluid levels or faulty power steering pump. Proper maintenance and care are essential for ensuring the longevity and reliability of a light vehicle steering system. Regular inspections should be conducted to check for leaks, loose components, and signs of wear. Power steering fluid levels need to be regularly checked and topped off if necessary. Additionally, following the manufacturer's recommended maintenance schedule, including alignments and fluid flushes, can help prevent steering system issues and prolong the lifespan of the components. Thanks a lot for watching.